Hello, class of 2020, teachers, families, friends, and anyone here in support and celebration of this milestone. Where do I even begin? Where do I begin when this is not how we thought our years at Gordon Bell would come to an end? If you looked up the word anticlimax in the dictionary, you would find that this graduating year for students across the globe fits the definition quite well. The fact that the speech is recorded says something about the reality of living through a pandemic in our grade 12 year. I was given a journal six years ago at the end of grade seven. In it said, remember that writing isn't just about handing an assignment in. It's about creating a voice for yourself. Write for you and magical things will happen. This is a concept I have grown to embrace over the years. It felt special to create this piece, not just for me, but for all of us. What a treat it has been to write this under the guidance and care of both Kellys. I was thrilled to be selected as your valedictorian. I am honored to speak in front of all of you here today, and I feel grateful to have been chosen to represent Gordon Bell's class of 2020. Thank you for believing I could pull this off. My name is Katrina Langsavath, and I am proud to use my voice to share my take on our story. Graduation festivities create moments for us to share before we go our separate ways. Our experiences might be different, but we will share this celebration, even if apart. At the end of the day, we're still graduating. We are wrapping up a chapter in our lives together and starting a new one. This grade 12 year is nothing close to anything we could have ever imagined. If you have watched convocations in years past, leading up to this one, expecting your turn to be just as grand, this reality stings. It's acceptable to feel devastated about the loss of something we've anticipated after a great deal of dedication and hard work. If you are an artist or an athlete, trust me when I say that I understand it's hard to have your last performances or your last sports season taken away from you. These are experiences that make the challenges of high school worthwhile. With the basic principles of health, safety, and human rights crumbling around us, I believe there's something to be said about a graduating class that can feel our own sorrows, yet recognize and pay respect to the grief of a world beyond what we might feel firsthand. What's happening right now, COVID-19 aside, is not a coincidence. It's the direct result of decades of prejudice that has been poorly dealt with. This generation might be shy about asking for extra ketchup at a restaurant or picking up phone calls, but we have proven ourselves unapologetic and brave when it comes to speaking up against police brutality, racial discrimination, and unequal privileges. By putting heartbreak and outrage into action and passion into education, we are showing the world that our generation will be the ones to help heal society so broken and full of hurt. 2020 has tested our character. This year has forced us to grow up if we haven't already. What a powerful time to come of age. Many of us have the privilege of being safe at home, but who's to say we don't find the feeling of home in other people and other places as well? I'm sure many of us can comment on how Gordon Bell has not only served as a place of learning, but as a place of solace, acceptance, and understanding. How lucky are we to have one another, and how lucky it is that despite the darkness, there is light. The joyful memories we've made in this accomplishment we can cherish, among other positives. Some of my favorite days were the ones where laughter was abundant or days that turned out unexpectedly well. My peers and I loved grade wars, the holiday hullabaloo, competing for donuts in geography class, and the multicultural mosaic, as it celebrated the diversity of Gordon Bell and showcased the talent of different countries. We enjoyed the company of our classmates and teachers, whether in class, during school activities, in the halls, or other. We might not get an opportunity to see everyone again after graduation, but I hope you all find your way. You're also capable and destined for great things, even if you don't realize it right now. You all have good hearts. For too many people in our world, there are systemic, cultural, and socioeconomic barriers working against communities that make the road to our goals longer and rockier. Our community understands the weight of sacrifice. The resilience in this inner city high school is nothing short of beautiful. It is transformative, inspiring, and powerful. We experienced and overcame our own challenges, whether unique or universal. It is difficult to understand resilience and integrity without hardship. Here's to us. Here's to the ones who have broken through language barriers in their studies and will receive their diploma today. Here's to surviving unrequited love or winning a test. Here's to the ones who forgot to cook rice before their parents got home. 
and then you better. Here's the ones who have escaped from homes of unrest, immigrated from a different country, or who have helped raise and care for their families. Here's to those who stayed up late to study, ran out the door without breakfast just so you could catch the bus, or balance a job with their academics. Here's to the ones who maybe cried too much because it all felt too heavy, but who continue to fight silent battles and show up for themselves and for other people. We made it. It is important to recognize the sentiments that have contributed to our success and well-being. How we have flourished came at the support of the people around us and the strength within us. Alongside our beloved friends and family, there are teachers, coaches, directors, EAs, guidance counselors, staff, and members in the community that have played an instrumental role in our lives. In addition to the subjects they may teach, they have taught us lessons that encompass realms far beyond the classroom and what happens within the school walls. You have shown us what it means to be passionate about what you do. I have immense respect and admiration for the adults who have put so much of themselves into caring for their current or former students. Thank you for mentoring us, for having patience for us, and seeing us as individuals with value beyond our performance or what we got on our report cards. There are intelligent, kind, and resilient women at Gordon Bell, and within our own families, who are the epitome of grace, compassion, and leadership. I speak for many when I say you have changed our lives. Many of the connections we've made here will always hold a special place in our hearts. May we thank them and appreciate them today and always. As for mine, I trust they know who they are and that this finds them. As our grade 12 year comes to a close, we must decide what we will do with our time and our energy after all this. Whether you are going to post-secondary, taking a gap year, looking for a job, traveling or other, the pace and direction in which you will embark on your journey is valid. Beyond that, we have a choice. We have a say in how we behave. We must choose to have compassion, to have patience and to listen to one another. We must choose to be better than a system built on oppression, on violence, and making us feel lesser than we are. We must choose to be kind. No matter where we go or what we will do, I hope we take this with us. We must dedicate ourselves to leaving the world a bit better than we found it. I don't know what I want to be, but I know what kind of character I want to build and how I want to make others feel. If you know too, maybe that is something we can hang on to. Maybe that is enough to guide us in the right direction through our academic career or life pursuits. I could go on and on about the ins and outs of high school forever. So can many of my fellow graduates. So today, I encourage you, reach out to a grad. Give them an air hug, throw them a Zoom party. They'll tell you what they learned, what made them laugh, who their favorite teachers are, how their sports season or concert went, and what they will miss. Unique or universal, they've got something to say. They might be eager to share their story too. Years ago, I dreamed about how stellar 2020 would look printed on our diploma. Despite all that's going on, you've got to admit, it still looks pretty sweet. We are Gordonville Panthers. Hear us roar. Congratulations to the Gordonville High School class of 2020.